Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Akin Boy. So, welcome to the first episode of the Unisim Design Special Series videos. And for the first episode, I will talking about refrigeration refrigeration cycle. Uh, for a specific one is uh, the case kit refrigeration cycle. So uh, this is a quite special cycle here because uh, it will consist of an intersection between uh, two refrigeration cycle. So you could see here, uh, this is the flow sheet that we will simulate today. Uh, we have this kind of a cycle here and you could see that uh, from this flow sheet there is a kind of intersection like this part and this part it is intersecting each other so it is uh, quite uh, interesting to do this another interesting part for this simulation is since this is a cycle so we should determine where we should do first if it is not a clear uh, start point yeah, if we have a non cycle process we know where we should start we just start from the upstream to the downstream of the process but now if we have a cycle we should determine why uh, when sorry uh, where we will start to do the simulation uh, and it is very easy if we know mm, uh, a lot of things about the process and the operating conditions but in this case uh, we know only a little bit about it and uh, so it, it will be quite challenging okay so let's start first like what i say i will that my first uh, where we should start so we could see there's some information here um yeah so the first one is about the pressure and then about the vapor fraction about the temperature and we could see that uh, there are two candidates of where we start the first one is here yeah stream number one we because we know the mass flow the mass fractions yeah uh, of c2 and c3 so we will use mcr today uh, multi uh, Sorry, uh, multi refrigeration, yeah. um, multi refrigeration, uh, refrigerant. Uh, yeah, we will use the mixture between M uh, C two and C three. Uh, so this is one of the candidate, and the other one is on stream number nine. Yeah, because we know that it is on the saturated paper conditions, and we know the pressure, so we will know the temperature. Uh, but what is missing is about the uh, the fraction of the composition of the stream so we will choose between these two uh, the first choice is number one we know the operating condition yeah and uh, sorry the mass flow and the compositions but we don't know about the uh, we don't know about the temperature how about the pressure so we could see here actually because uh, the pressure drop in the evaporator and number six is to to uh, 210 uh, it will be mixed to stream number 10 that will have the same pressure or less and we assume here also the heat exchanger have a zero pressure drop so actually we know what is the pressure here in number one so uh, the only one missing is actually only the temperature on stream one. so that's why i will try to start from stream one instead of stream nine why because in stream nine we don't know what is the composition the composition is not 0 0.5 0 0.5 because uh, it is the vapor phase of separator that is uh, yeah, going through the cycle so the vapor phase here is not in the same composition with number one okay so that's why i will start with number one okay let's go to the simulation here let's have uh, c2 and c3 the flip package i will choose a uh, pan robinson Okay, so the next step here, I will, uh, yeah, we'll put the stream number one. Okay, the mass flow is 100 
كده اهو The mass fraction here will change the basis. 0.5, 0 0.5. Then the mass flow is 100. The pressure is 210. Okay, the next thing is the Pressure is done, and we will do an estimate of temperature. Yeah, let just estimate uh, 80 degrees Celsius. Yeah, we don't really know about the temperature yet here. So we will make an estimate. Okay, so it will go to a compressor. Yeah, it will go to a compressor. We will use a standard efficiency of 75, yeah, the default one. Pressure will be 2,600. And it will be condensed now. Condensed, so we will use cooler. Skew. Condense. It will be stream number three. The pressure drop will be zero. And now the temperature will be 28.87. Okay, like that. Okay. The next step is we will have a separator. We'll change this name first. Separator here. Number four, number five. Number four, number five. A. Give it name separator. Then it will go to a valve. Like that. Okay. So the temperature will uh, sorry the pressure is will be to ten kPa. Okay. Then we will have mixer here. And the output will be number ten. Okay. So for now it's already converse, yeah, the stream ten because we don't have any second stream coming into the mixer. Uh, let's continue with the heat exchanger now on the vapor side. So I have a heat exchanger here. Ah. Number four will go to the tube side, while number 10 will go to the shelf side. Okay. Then this one will number seven now oh, this one is number one yeah we will connect it later to number one we will put the delta pressure into zero and number seven we know the temperature here minus 33.4 that's 43.4 So now, if we have dummy, okay, yeah, the there will be a warning here, but no worries because we have a guess of this temperature. Okay, so the next step is we will have another Jolton sun valve. Okay, the output will be number eight. Sorry, number eight. 
Pressure also will be to one zero. Okay, it will go to an evaporator. You if pressure drop will be zero. And then the vapor fraction will be one. Okay. Then we can just connect to here. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So it is done with this. The next step is we just yeah, we just combine this one to this one. Okay. We save it first, yeah, because it maybe generate errors. Yeah, we swap it. The next step is you will see here that it is over specified. Yeah, of course, because number one, we specify a lot of things here, a lot of things. So we can delete the temperature, it will calculate. And then uh, we could delete this pressure, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So we could see that the FT correction low, we could change the thema type to F. Okay. And we're done. Now uh, the cascade refrigeration cycle simulation uh, is already converged uh, with uh, yeah, this kind of low sheet. Uh, so the next step, yeah, you can do a lot of things here. Like you can calculate the COP, you can calculate the efficiencies, and I will leave it to you guys yeah, to develop the simulation. Yeah, um, uh, if you duplicate this, you redo the simulation in your own device. You can also post this simulation and technique if you are, uh, want to share it, sh uh, share it to the link in. And okay, that's enough for this video and see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.